threat from ISIS. The latest video will show you part of it. It's from Syria. It shows ISIS terrorists lining up about 250 near naked Syrian soldiers. As you can see, they're being marched through the desert. Later, they are executed en masse. We're not going to show you that, obviously. Meanwhile, President Obama says he has no strategy to deal with this. Listen to what he actually said. I don't want to put the cart before the horse. We don't have a strategy yet. Ouch. Congressman Jim Jordan, Republican from Ohio, joins us now. Congressman, I, I want you to deal with what the president just said. But first, I want to play you a clip from Britain's Prime Minister, David Cameron. He was mm. speaking about this just moments ago. Listen, please. This is not some foreign conflict thousands of miles from home that we can hope to ignore. The ambition to create an extremist caliphate in the heart of Iraq and Syria is a threat to our own security here in the UK. It is a poisonous ideology of Islamist extremism that is condemned by all faiths and by all faith leaders. We cannot appease this ideology. We have to confront it at home and abroad. Congressman, what shocks me is that Britain's Prime Minister is prepared to use the word Islamic yep. terrorist. He's prepared to yep. say it. President Obama won't even go near it. Yeah, I mean, quite the contrast. And, and I, I like you, Stuart, I think like most Americans, I'm concerned about the president's statement yesterday where he talked about we don't have a strategy yet. But frankly, when you think about this administration and this, this approach they've taken, this reactionary lead from behind approach, I guess it probably shouldn't surprise us that, in fact, they don't have a strategy yet. What the president needs to do, in my judgment, is formulate a strategy and then follow the Constitution. Bring it to the Congress. Let's debate it. Let's do what the Constitution says. And then let's, let's confront these, this, this, evil, uh, this evil terrorist organization, ISIS, and let's take the approach that we heard from, uh, from the British Prime Minister and says, this is as serious as it gets. But if you go out there in front of the American people, right before the long holiday weekend, right before you go to a barbecue with Wall Street honchos, right before you do that, you say, I've got no strategy. You're exposing yourself. You're exposing the president and our country to huge political risk. Because if one of these guys comes back here and commits a terrorist act and we don't have a strategy, we look really bad and the president really loses big time. Yeah. Well, the, all the more reason why the, the, the administration needs to formulate a strategy, bring it to Congress, let's debate. Let's, let's get after this and, and recognize just how serious, how evil this, this organization ISIS is and what they're trying to accomplish, as the British Prime Minister just laid out a few minutes ago. I, I want you to ask, uh, tell our viewers why the president is taking this, this particular tack at this particular time. Why is he doing this? You know, I, I don't know other than what I said that, that this, this administration has taken this position what I would call a reactionary, quote, lead from behind uh, approach. Washington Post had a story on this, uh, uh, a piece on this this morning, talking about this lead from behind approach that they have, they have taken. Uh, obviously, it's not, not what we need when we're confronting something as evil as ISIS. What's your judgment of America's mood at the moment? I don't think many people want to put boots on the ground, send in the Marine Corps. I don't think many people want to do that. But I, I suspect that there is some a, encouragement for a consistent bombing campaign and take it to oh, yeah. them militarily. I think there's enthusiasm for that, isn't there? I think, I think strong, not, not just with, with the American people, but I think in the United States Congress, I think we understand, look, let's use all the air power we can to go after. I mean, after all, this is an organization that murdered an American journalist. This is, this is an organization that wants to take over and wants to start this caliphate. Let's, let's, let's use every bit of air power we can to, uh, to go after these guys. Is that the consensus in Congress, that if the president brought to you a suggestion, maximum use of air power, arm the Kurds, you would say yes? I believe so. I've not talked with a, a great number of my colleagues about this, th th this yet, but uh, the ones I have and, and my thoughts, I think that makes a lot of sense. And I think as I talk to, to constituents around our district, that's, that's the impression that they have as well. Congressman Jim Jordan, thanks very much for joining us, sir.